Good morning, and thank you, Governor. COVID has impacted every resident of our Commonwealth in one way or another, but we all know that there's been a significant impact also on our children. As the Governor said, the Commonwealth has made tremendous progress in the fight against COVID, which is allowing us to lift restrictions before the end of this month. That is welcome news to all of the people of our Commonwealth. Today, we are announcing updated guidance uh, relative to our youth to relax mask requirements for many outdoor settings for our kids. These changes will take effect in advance of the May 29th general lifting of COVID rules that the governor just announced. As an immediate step effective tomorrow, May 18th, the youth and amateur sports guidance will be updated to no longer require face coverings for youth athletes under 18 while playing outdoor sports. All youth and amateur sports restrictions will be lifted uh, effective May 29th. But for youth sports, youth playing sports, tomorrow is the day that the face covering will be lifted. We are also updating guidance for K through 12 schools and early education providers. Effective May 18th, masks will no longer be required for outdoor activities like recess in these settings. DESE and EEC are also updating their guidance to allow for the sharing of objects in classrooms like toys and books. This guidance remains in effect beyond May 29th. We will also be releasing updated guidance for summer camps, which will be effective May 29th face coverings will not be required for outdoor activities. We are making these updates after consultation with our medical advisory board to reflect the latest CDC guidance around outdoor face coverings and surface trans transmission while keeping our children safe. These vaccines are safe, effective, and are helping us get back to our new normal. Children 12 and older are now eligible for the vaccine and can sign up for appointments at any location offering the Pfizer vaccine. Go to mass.gov forward slash COVID vaccine. If you are our parent and have any questions about the vaccine and your child, please contact your pediatrician. Vaccines, as the governor noted, are widely available at more than 975 locations across our Commonwealth. Please make an appointment or there are walk-up and pop-up opportunities to get your vaccine. Uh, we know that there are much brighter days upon us and ahead of us, and it's largely due to the access that people here have to the vaccine and that so many people have chosen to participate in the vaccination program. Uh, before turning it over to Secretary Sutters, I want to say how grateful I am to the citizens of our Commonwealth, to all of the residents here for your hard work over the course of this past year. I want to thank the parents and everyone who has been part of this process as a, a fellow mom, how challenging this has been for our families and for our children. I also want to thank the business community. As the governor noted, restrictions and protocols and incorporating that into your business operations. Uh, we are so grateful to your sacrifices and your hard work, getting your employees to feel comfortable coming back to work and opening your establishments to the public for them to feel comfortable doing business with you. I also want to thank Mass Municipal Association and MAPC for hosting many calls for us to share information. You helped us do our jobs better. And I also want to thank our local boards of health for your partnership over the course of this past year. I uh, do want to also thank uh, the reopening advisory board that we convened uh, last April and want to thank Secretary Keneally and his office for their leadership and hard work. Uh, May 18th of 2020 was the day that we came to this room and announced the first phase of our reopening plan. And here we are almost to the date a year later uh, with a full reopening. It would not have happened with all of you, without all of you working so hard along this course and along this journey.